The Federal Duck Stamp Contest, the most ambitious federally sponsored art competition in the nation, came to Wisconsin for the first time ever in 2017. To celebrate this annual event, 1,500 people from all over the country gathered in the Noel Fine Arts Center at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. This contest appoints a panel of five judges to select the artwork that will be emblazoned on the next Federal Migratory Bird Hunting Conservation Stamp. When you plunk down your $25 right now on a Federal Duck Stamp, it goes into habitat, 98 cents out of every dollar. Basically, it buys land for some of the national wildlife refuges, waterfall production areas. So that's the important thing, because you're a stockholder then in wildlife. It's the best $25 investment you can make, it really is. An outstanding number of 217 artists competed in this year's contest, and only one of them will be able to place their mark on conservation history. However, without the Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist named Ding Darling, this prestigious art contest would not exist today. In 1934, Ding Darling created the very first duck stamp. Ding Darling is a pretty incredible individual. Most people know him from the duck stamp. But in addition to that, he designed the system of our National Wildlife Refuges. He also started the Fish and Wildlife Co-op Research System. He was involved with Leopold in many aspects. He also created the National Wildlife Federation. And so he really developed a conservation ethic among the people. I'm sure it was immense. This important conservation hero has become unfamiliar to many in Wisconsin. Therefore, the J.N. Darling Center and the Wisconsin Center for Wildlife hosted a display about Ding Darling in hopes of educating the public about this influential individual. To see people, young people, middle-aged people, older people, um, from all walks of life come here and, and look to learn about Darling through the exhibit and the kiosk, I know we did what we were supposed to do. I feel great about leaving uh, Stevens Point, but I will be back. As a result of Darling's first duck stamp, six million acres of habitat have been bought and conserved since 1934. We will probably be close to breaking the $1 billion mark with stamp sales since 1934, which is an amazing statistic. This year's winning art piece by Robert Hotman will help break this record. As the 2017 Federal Duck Stamp Contest came to a close, it was without question that the legacy of Darling's duck stamp has created a community that is passionate about making a difference. It's a wonderful reminder uh, in many ways of who we can be at our best by connecting art and conservation. I feel called to like purchase a duck stamp every year now for like the rest of my life. You get to be a part of like protecting the environment. I mean, that feels good to me.